Hello, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Crazy Boy. Hey, I'm back. So, um, I thought I would um, show y'all um, my witchy room. Because um, mostly the videos y'all been seeing, those are actually in my bedroom. Um, and I do have my an altar there, and I do do candles there as well. Um, especially when I'm doing, you know, um, positive candles and negative candles, they need to actually be very far away from each other. So I kind of need to have two rooms. But this is my main witchy room, and um, I'm actually going to show it to y'all, okay? Um, first thing I want to show is Miss Sophia Don. Here is your pentacle that you made for me. Thank you very much. I have it here protecting my witchy room, and it's been working very great. And I'm very grateful that you let me have this. Thank you so, so much. All right, so right here um, is my um, witch's ladder. And pretty much it's a cord with a bunch of knots with different um, items um, that represent my um, eclectic journey. And of course, down my journey, I'll add more items to it, you know, if I see, if I see fit. This is like a parrot's feather, uh, earth-based oil, um, a crystal, a pentacle, of course. And this is a yarn doll that we actually make in Brujeria. I'm actually probably going to do a video about it. And an earth-based um, protection, herb mix, and of course a little bell for the spirits. So yeah, kind of like that. It's really pretty. Now this right here is my athame. This is the athame that I use to open and close my circle whenever I do major rituals um, in my room, especially for the, the Sabbaths. So I'll actually pull it up for y'all so I can see. So yeah, there it is. So yeah, this was actually a gift from my sister. Um, my family pretty much is very open with uh, my religion. So um, I've been very, very blessed with a very open-minded um, family and even open-minded friends. I've never had a problem with what I practice with. So I'm very, very happy. So let's talk about my oils. All right, so this is just like one fourth of my oils that I have. Um, I have sh shown y'all some before but I wanted to show y'all the scale of how many oils that I really do have, so I thought I'd just show y'all. This is just my um, dressing oils and my mojo bag dressing oils. Um, they're all pretty much uh, organized and put in kind of like rows. This is for good luck, this is for the saints. This one right here is for love, that is for court cases. Um, this is for healing, this is for um, protection. Um, a little bit of the dark art stuff. And of course the miscellaneous, the high altar, reversible oils, uh, you know, different stuff like that. So yeah, so I think it's supposed to be used for shot classes, but yeah, I'm gonna witchify it and use it for my witchy oils. It's kind of cool. Of course, here's my witch's calendar right there. And this is actually really good because it actually tells you like um, uh, when certain, like when the moon goes into you know, Aquarius, you know, into Pisces and stuff like that. And I usually do my spells on days when the moon doesn't really go into any other zodiacs. It's just something that I just go by a little bit. Um, but of course, if it's necessary, still do the spell if you have to, okay? Um, of course, here we go. My trusty um, candle poker. Yeah, I use this all the time. All the time. I love it. And of course, my candle snuffer. Now, right here, is my working space where I actually um, fix candles, fix mojo bags, and all that good stuff here. I have my mortar and pedestal, have my working candle over here, have some more oils and stuff like that. And um, a lot of people have asked me about, because I, um, I have two of these, and this one right now, um, I actually use it for my um, for fixing my candles and stuff like that. And I'll show you all what's, what's inside here. Inside here is an all-purpose candle mix that I use often. And it's in here, so whenever I just need to make a really quick candle to dress and fix, I'll just use that mix. Um, but of course, if the spell needs something extra, of course I'll add a little extra to it, a little bit of extra herbs or a little extra crystals or anything like that, or even oils as well. Um, in here, I have my gold dust and my silver dust, and also the knife that I carve my candles with. Um, and also in this one right here, have other oils um, pretty much these are like the other staple oils um, that I'll use um, whenever you know I run out of um, another oil this will kind of be like the substitute that I use so yeah okay so yeah um, yeah it's pretty much yeah I like it um, over here are um, uh, some foil papers that I cover my 
um, candles with. This is my on-the-go box of shadows that I use. Um, parchment paper. Some of the inks that I use. Yeah, so pretty much it's pretty good. Now I'm going to show you underneath my working station. So y'all can see exactly like how much. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. So down here are all my herbs. All the herbs that I use or that I've ever used. They're all down here. Um, like right there is my saltpeter and my honey and all that good stuff. So yeah, so this is a lot of stuff that I've, that I've used over time and um, the main thing with these is um, I always try to keep them organized but for some reason just the herbs, they end up everywhere. I'll have herbs here, your herbs there so I try my best to kind of keep everything organized but trying to keep a witchy room clean is really hard because you know once you get into it and you start getting creative and yeah everything just goes everywhere so so yeah so I'll show you these both sides of the doors um, this right here are all the oils that I've bought or purchased um, these are oils that I haven't made myself um, there's some azure green stuff and some lucky um, lucky mojo some essential oils and of course oils that I bought um, down here are some powders um, uh, they were these powders I actually got from Oceana and I thank you so much they work very very good in um, the candles that I've been using so thank you so much um, and Riva oils more carrier oils let's see we got zodiac oils down here uh, more oils back there yeah and more oils and even sprays yeah lots of stuff uh, over here now here's the the fun side, the experimenting side. This right here, let me shake it up for you, are mustard seeds um, in a carrier oil. And this is actually gonna be the first start of a very good protection oil that I'm making. So yeah, I love doing experiments with oils and how they come out and what kind of um, what kind of magical properties I can get out of them. So it's pretty fun like that. Let's see here. This oil right here is master root oil. Yeah, it's turning the carrier oil like a kind of a orangey color. Very interesting. Let's see here. And here is a Elizabeth root oil. Um, but this oil right here, I'm going to, um, I think I may cut it up because um, maybe I'm not getting enough properties out of it. But it is smelling pretty good. So I'll see about, you know, what to do with this. And snake root oil. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And of course, here are all my hoodoo oils. There's my Van Van oil. And of course, these oils that you've seen already before. Um, these oils right here are my eclectic oils. All the knowledge that I've gotten from all the religions that I've had a great privilege of experience are in these oils right here. Very powerful oils. Here are also two of my um, powders that I make. So, yeah, good stuff. And of course, more oils. Um, and actually I think these are alcohol based, these are more like colognes. And down here of course more oils, more staple oils. So yeah, and down here of course is the earth, my earth, my dirt, all that good stuff. So yeah, so I think this is going to be a part one. So um, I'm going to stop the video now so I can actually show y'all my altar. Alright, I'll see you soon.